What's up you guys, it's me Kiki Solano welcoming you to BYUSN right now. We are just a few short days away from BYU at Tennessee. I'm going to tell you all you need to know about the matchup, including what volunteer has the best dance moves. Plus, we've got some good and bad news coming out of men's basketball. Let's go. All right, I want to do this quick because although it was a while ago, it still hurts. The NCAA released a statement this morning denying BYU's appeal concerning their 47 vacated wins for Dave Rose in BYU basketball. Does this suck? Yes. Was it even in the university's control? No, but you guys, we've got some good news coming out of BYU basketball. Remember how a few weeks ago, Zach Selyus broke his foot in Italy and everyone was worried about him coming back for the season? Yeah, well, psych! According to BYU men's basketball coach Mark Pope, Zach is healing well and should be good to go for the start of the season. We've got more good news. So many rankings out for our Cougs, starting with BYU women's soccer, who jumped up four spots, making it into the top 10 at number 10 in the latest coaches poll. This after starting their season 3-0. BYU women's volleyball is ranked number 13 in the AVCA coaches poll after starting their season over the weekend 2-1. Two, two top 15 rankings, pretty good. Unfortunately, not all of BYU's rankings are quite as good. In the college football poll, The Athletic has BYU dropping from 54 to 67. But BYU's next opponent, Tennessee, dropped from 64 to 98. It's going down. I'm yelling. Tennessee. Speaking of Tennessee, we only have a few days till the Cougs take on the Bulls in their first road game of the season. We know both teams are prepping for the matchup. On their offensive side, uh, to me it starts with their quarterback, a guy that, that, that kind of reminds me of Johnny Manziel. He can run around and extend plays, make all the throws. But I'm gonna prep you, Cougar Nation. Since we just talked about Zach, let's talk about Tennessee's quarterback, junior Derek Gorantana who had 311 yards passing against Georgia State, marking only the second time he has eclipsed 300 yards in his UT career. I'm pretty sure he channeled his inner animal to do this. I mean, he said himself, he has a lion heart. Gorantano connected with Jawan Jennings for 108 receiving yards and a touchdown. That's a career high of seven catches for senior Jawan Jennings. It's obvious he's a leader on the field, but according to Tennessee's athletic website, he's the team's emotional leader too. Which, I'm not totally sure what that means. And how do you feel about that? Depressed. Yeah. And how do you feel about that? <laughs> Wait I like it though, that's kind of cute. I like that. And senior tight end Dominic Wood Anderson had a career high of 79 receiving yards on three receptions. Again, great athlete, but honestly, pretty impressed by his dance moves. I know I only mentioned Tennessee's offense, but honestly, their defense didn't have the best game. So I'm sparing us all. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Give us that follow. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.